Welcome to the danger of enum extensions. Hi, I'm Eric. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk a bit about enum extensions. That's a fairly new thing that we have gotten in Business Central. And it opens up a lot of interesting um, options, but also opens up for potential danger. And, and uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is Business Central. This is a sales order. And um, let's think about what would happen if we added an option to the, the sales line type. That's a um, pretty common uh, place to uh, for, for customers to request that, hey, Eric, uh, could we get a, a, a special line type uh, on the on the sales order um, to handle subtotals or to handle a, a different transaction type or stuff like that. And uh, this has been done hundreds of times uh, throughout the lifespan of Navision and, and Dynamics Nav as a base objects for customization. Um, but now we can do it without modifying the base app by creating an enum extension and, and adding an extra option. Um, and then what? So we if we add an extra option to this one, then what? How how do we handle it with that? How do we handle it? If we if we go to uh, you no, know, let's Google Enum extension, uh, and we get a nice uh, piece of documentation that tells us all about how to to handle this. Here is an Enum, and then yada 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 yada, and we extend another option, and this is great. Um, and we use it as as usual, and and all this is good, and we can even extend uh, the uh, the table with modified relation and adding a if statement to the relation of, of a field. So this is this is awesome. This is in 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 all aspects just awesome. And um, but. The, the, the challenge is that feels like sales line type has is being used all over the place. And let actually let me I fired up our good friend Prism here, um, and I found the the type field on on the sales line, uh, and and we can go and take a look at that, and we can see all the the options that exist. Uh, and it says that this is extensible. Uh, it's great. Um, but as soon as you extend an enum like this, you have to take responsibility, uh, be responsible for, uh, for how this field is handled. So let's let's look at when this field is actually used um so let me scroll down to field number five again and this is one of the great things about prison we can take a look initializing this one is running on a 17.4 set of objects and you can see the counter here for how many places in the base app, the type field from the sales line is used 1250 times. Um, and and most of this is, is great. Like, let, let's take a look at what we get here. Uh, I will put this over my head. How about that? Put it up here. Um, so if type to so the on delete triggered, well, if type is item is if type is charge, well, we, we, we can certainly see that. And then we can, oops, let me go back. If 
see if I can get by F2. I'm, I'm still a novice in navigating here. I wonder if my... Oh, wow, that's even... That's, so sc scrolling is interesting. So what I did now is that if you have you, you know this creative thing, that's the, that's the Microsoft dial. And and it, it's a it's a it's set for scrolling here. Um, that may not be the best use. Anyway, so on delete clearly we need to do something if our line is referring to something else, and we need to something that's and and there's an event for that. So, and on insert and on modify and uh, when we're validating this the type field, when we're valid validating. Um, uh, the number field and we can see here that okay so there's a case statement and and actually what I'm gonna do is you know behind my my face and I can filter these things that I have found so instead of the 1200 now I'm looking at the 22 places in the code where there's a case statement on the line type. Um, and uh, let's go and find something. Let's find something interesting here, for instance. Uh, how about this one? Init deferral code. So if a document type is order invoice, credit memo, then case of deal account, item and resource. Well, we can, we can do default codes. So, but, but you see here, there's no else event or in a, an event here. So suddenly this code gets really, really hard to, uh, to actually incorporate into a new type. Uh, a, a, another example is to do the IC partner. Here's also a, uh, a a type of oh, scrolling is very very fast. Uh, let me see if I can grab the scroll bar instead. But at the end of this one, we do have an event, so we actually have an event, mean that we could create our own case statement for for our type. Uh, but in reality. There's at least 22 places where we probably need to do something. Um, unit of measure, what happens on unit of measure is in case this is an item, resource, uh, deal account and charts type and blank, but no else and no event here. So. If we need to do something with unit of measure, it's just too bad because there's a case statement, but our we we have no place where we can go in and do something with our type, and and this is this is this is a pattern. Microsoft knows this, but but they got to start somewhere, right? And and the problem is that the danger of enum extension is that now we have enum extensions, but as you can see, the code base is not prepared for there being any other types than what's already there. Let's let's take a different look at those 7, 1250. Um, let's search for different then um, and see that, see if we got something. Set reservation entry, if type is different, from item, then reservation entry item numbers equal blank. That's probably fine. Um, get default bin. Well, if it's not type item, then we exit out of this. So too bad if, if that was something that you wanted to do. Um, there's a lot of these. If it's not something, then just exit, which is great. Here's another fun one. Um, this is within the calc sales line tax lines that says, well, you need to calculate on anything that's not a comment. 
um, a service charge line that uh, that if the line type is not GL count, then it, it is um, a service charge line. So again, tons of these might be fine, but but in reality, if you want to extend something like this, you have a lot of tasks. I'm not saying necessarily that you have 1,250 tasks in order to extend sales line, but you certainly have a lot because there are so many places in the code where this field is used. And we add an option and then we need to make sure. Here is another thing that this is, what is this? This is a property of uh, the deferral codes on a uh, sales return, uh, the subform, the lines on the sales return order, and uh, well, these that those fields are. Let's see what we have. A lot of deferral codes. Those fields are enabled unless it's a or, or or they disable if it's fixed assets. Uh, and something else is enabled and if it's item. Um, so there are tons of places uh, where you need to potentially need to do something. And right now you can't because there are no events. There are no uh, inclusive exclusive logic depending on how you see it so so uh, it's it's problematic so let me actually end this one here so just this should not turn into a rant uh, this is, should be a a fair warning that enum extensions are an awesome feature but be aware that the code base as it currently sits and this is I think what I looked in here was 17.4 is certainly not ready for you to just go and extend something like this uh, without really thinking it through. And now I only talked about the base app. The next challenge is if you have a, another app that uses, uh, you install some app from app source and that app uses the field, then it might totally crap out on you because you added a type that it, it did not know. Um, I have been looking in our apps and looking at the enum usage that, that we have. And I'm currently trying to make sure that we don't have anything where we, we use different from saying that do something if it's different from item or do something that if it's different from blank. Uh, we, we had some of those here, right? That in reality, I, I, I want to change all my statements into inclusive saying that I will do, do something on a line if it's an item, if it's a deal account, if it's a charge, if it's a and, and fixed asset and, and so on. Uh, because the different from a type that will suddenly suddenly include something that I might not want to include that might break my app because somebody else somewhere added an enum extension uh, to one of the fields that I'm working on. Uh, so a fair warning, I guess. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, little storytelling more than uh, uh, coding. I think we're returning to some fancy code uh, in the next video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please very much to subscribe. Let, let me know in the comments below how you, you use enum extensions. Uh, and if you found something that worked or you if you actually experienced something that didn't work like I'm talking about. So until next time, have a wonderful day.